Biker Billy cooks with fire. All right, let's see if we can do a show together tonight. We're going to have fun. I keep leaving the studio door open, and crowds of people keep marching in, thinking this is a restaurant or something. Well, it's not. It's a TV studio. Yes, it's not really a kitchen, but over here in the chair is a real person. Hey, Mike, how you doing? Hi there, Mike or Billy. All right, we got one person left. I threw the whole crowd out, but you're welcome to sit down and relax to grab a lot of salsa, some chips, maybe a bunch of chilies, yes, hug your chilies. Cause when we come back, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna cook with fire. All right! All right, here we are, me, the ginger root, the mics and the microphones. We're gonna do some chop, chop, chop. Some outrageous cooking, yes. Some exotic food from far away on the Pacific Rim. Some recipes that I'm gonna call hot Thai fry, yes. And wait a minute, what's that? Where is it? Look, over here in my apron pocket. Remember, kitties, wear your aprons, protect your good biking t-shirts, and you might find a winner, yes. A viewer recipe contest winner, and we'll talk about that in a minute, but let's first talk about the wonderful, I don't know, you call it an appetizer or bread, a side dish, it's kind of round, it's like from all sorts of cultures, it's something we call scallion pancakes, but it's not really scallion pancakes because it's adulterated with what's in this envelope, yes, a special type of chili, this beautiful chili pepper. Now, you've seen me use these before, but usually they look like this. Yes, this is an anjo, a red, dried version of this wonderful green poblano chili. And that's the ingredient. All right, let's check it out. Oh, boy, it says, Dear Biker Billy, Outstanding Show, Pure Entertainment, Cable Television Programming at its finest. No, I didn't write that myself. I'll pass it off and let my audience read it. And it says, ingredient of the day, Poblano chilies. Check it out, Mike. All right, Mike can't catch that because I can't throw things, but I can sure toss chili. So, red and ripe, dried in the air, green and fresh, frozen from my garden. So, before we start them, what would a pancake be without flour? So, we got ourselves a large mixing bowl, one and a quarter cup of flowers and an authentic red, uh, you know, letter there, Mike. That letter is absolutely authentic. All right, it's an authentic letter, yes. And it came from far away, but we won't say where. No, we will keep the identity a secret for the moment. We take one cup of very hot water, nearly boiling, maybe it's boiling, and we're gonna take ourselves a fork and we're gonna mix this dough up. We're gonna get this thoroughly mixed up. Be very careful, that real hot water, use a fork. Don't get your fingers in there, because right now it's too hot. Get it thoroughly mixed up, very thoroughly mixed up. And if the temperature is just right, and this is too warm, because that water's getting hot, the rehydrate some dried problanos, which are anjos. So, we're gonna cover this, we're gonna set this aside. You can take a look, I'll show you in the bowl. It's some dough. You could actually take it out. You could take the fork out of it. You could knead it, then your hands get all sticky. Sit it aside. Let it rest just like I want to do. Rest, no, now. Well, that's resting. I'm gonna clean my hands off here. And we're gonna move on with the next part of our recipe, our wonderful hot. Now, did I tell you it's a Thai recipe? Yes, which means it's got peanuts. Yes, another sauce with peanuts and hot peppers. So the first thing we're gonna do, we got some water boiling. We've got on the cutting board two peppers. The first, you've seen it before, a beautiful red dried anjo. We're gonna bust this baby open. We're gonna dump out all the seeds. Yes, you don't want the seeds in this sauce. Take that little dried stem and just get rid of it. All right, now take a little bowl, tear this baby up into little itsy bitsy pieces. Don't go too crazy because we're gonna food process it in a little while. 
Now, take your wonderful dried, long, slim red cayenne pepper, break its little head off, yes, pop off that stem, toss it away, get rid of the seeds, all right! No more seeds, now! Get them squished down there. You're gonna take yourself one, yes, sorry, I can get one, one, half a cup of boiling water. You really want that water just after the boil is stopped. Notice no bubbles. If it's fully boiling, it'll turn those peppers bitter. And we don't want no bitter peppers. Yes, siree. Bitter pepper, bitter people. We don't want it. No, siree. Now, let that sit and meditate. Yes, an ancient art, meditation. Now, on the cutting board, meditate on this, kids. This is ginger. Wonderful. Ginger root, fresh ginger root. So what are we going to do? We're going to cut ourselves a nice big chunk off here. And look and notice on the inside, it's a nice light color. On the outside, it is light bark. So what we want to do, and this stuff is so fragrant. Mike, have you ever smelled fresh ginger? Uh, yes, I think I have. Ah, you like that smell? Yeah, I can smell it from over here. Yeah, all right. See, somebody here can smell something. Now, we're going to take and we're going to carefully peel this off. Get this completely peeled. Then we're going to take and pop it in our food processor. You're going to want to come down to one level tablespoon. So we'll get rid of all of that dark. Cut it into a piece or two, and here's a trick. It can get stuck on the blade, so get the blade spinning. All right, we're gonna fine chop that. We don't need to skin it. No siree. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna sit back, you're gonna relax. When you come back, we're gonna get the rest of our ingredients cut up. We're gonna start sauteing, we're gonna start saucing, and we're gonna make Scallion Angel, or rather Poblano Pancakes. So sit back, relax, and cook with fire. All right, you just caught me when I was about to have myself a little bitty bit of garlic. Yes, sirree, Bob, we got garlic. Now, what are we gonna do with our garlic? We got our wonderful hot peppers that we soaked until they came down to room temperature. We're gonna toss them in the food processor and we're gonna give them a spin. All right! Now what we wanna do is puree those little babies and we're gonna add something else tasty and tempting. We're gonna add one nice level tablespoon. Now count that, that was one tablespoon. Okay, so I add two tablespoons of chopped garlic and check this out, the ginger root. There's the ginger root and look here. Here is the wonderful chopped ginger. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one nice level, look at this very carefully, a level tablespoon of ginger. In it goes, and what do we do, Mike? Blend it. We blend it, all right, now! All right, so here we go, we got a small, I bet you couldn't hear a thing I said. We got a small pot, we're gonna take ourselves one quarter cup of peanut oil. This is for our sauce. We're gonna put it in that pot. It's gonna start to get hot. And we've got our wonderful, and be careful kitties, because this stuff could splatter. Look out, Mike. Yes, only do this in a closed kitchen with a closed mind. No, don't do this at home. Be very careful when you add that liquid to that hot oil because it can splatter. But what you want to do is begin to fry up in that oil those wonderful, delicious spices. We can actually, no, should we? Yeah, let's add a little bit. Where'd it go? Some black pepper. Just take a itty bit. I'd say something on the order of a level teaspoon of black pepper. Get it in there. Start that simmering and sauteing now. We're gonna take another pan in a minute. Not now, but I'm gonna show you. I've got some bean curd. Nice, extra firm bean curd, a big block of it. We're gonna let this drain. It's very important because we're gonna do the same kind of hot oil thing to let all of the liquid drain out of that bean curd. And I'm gonna show you what we do with it in a minute. But first, simmering up here. We're gonna simmer and saute that for a little while. Then we're gonna take some peanut butter, kitty. Yes, peanut butter. And when you take and you measure peanut butter, take a little bit of oil, 
just run a little bit of oil around in that cup before we measure our peanut butter because when you put oil in the cup the peanut butter will come out real easy take the peanut butter and we want a nice half cup of peanut butter now very carefully and look how easy that came out of there get that peanut butter in that hot oil oh boy leave some behind can you smell those aromas yeah yeah they get it they're so busy smelling that they can't talk anymore now very gently stir this in we've simmered that up a little bit we desired to get rid of most of the liquid so we just have the oil and carefully we're going to melt the peanut butter now you get the nice wonderful melted peanut butter going in here i used a chunky type of peanut butter and we're going to go for our next ingredient you can use a light or a regular teriyaki sauce if you don't got teriyaki sauce in the house Go ahead, use soy sauce, just don't tell anybody, they won't know the difference. Take yourself a nice quarter cup, aww, and pop the top. All right, now take yourself a nice quarter cup of teriyaki sauce, stir it in there, get this nice and stirred up. Now, if you think this has got too much oil in it, after you heat the sauce up, reduce the temperature, let it sit, some of the oil will float to the top and you can carefully drain that oil off and use that oil to saute the vegetables in. But I'm gonna leave that in there. We're gonna let that be nice and rich. Your choice, either way you like it. High calorie or low, well, it'll never be low calorie. Now, what are we gonna do? We're gonna put a little oil in our pan and we are gonna start to saute some wonderful vegetables. So the first thing we're gonna do is change over our food processor. Where'd it go to? The shredding blade. Now, swap over to the shredding blade. Take yourself one cup of carrots. I got nice baby carrots because I don't have to cut them up. They're nice and washed up. I know how much a cup is. You know how much a cup is. One cup of baby carrots. Get them in that shredder. Shred them down, yes. And we're gonna use some broccoli. So we're gonna cut the end off. Hey, Mike, catch. All right, can I can have that back again. Hey! It's baseball season now. Take yourself the broccoli stalk. Cut it into pieces so it fits in the food processor and drop it in and shred it. Now you get those shredded up. You're gonna take and in your saute pan, you got your oil nice and hot. What we're doing is making some nice veggies to make a bed for our Thai fried. Ah, listen to that sizzle, our Thai fried bean curd. Yes, a hot Thai fry. So your firm veggies go in first. Now, grab yourself a couple of wonderful scallions and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, cut off their little roots I'm gonna cut off their bottoms, put the green part aside. We're gonna throw these in here with the chopping blade and I'm gonna chop them up while you go away. And when you come back, I'm gonna chop them up and I'm gonna slice some peppers and we're gonna cook with... Oh, yeah. All right! All right, you caught me slicing and dicing and cutting up, trying not to chop up my fingers. So while you were away, I did some interesting things. I took a nice yellow squash and a nice green zucchini, medium size, and I shredded them. So in they go, yes, into our nice hot saute pan. Now, I also took and look at the beautiful red and yellow bell peppers. You know, I did my little pepper trick so we can save that ring and I can get rid of this junk. All right, so I sliced them up into nice long slivers of beautiful red and yellow pepper and we'll toss them in there. You like peppers, Mike? Love them. Love them, all right, Mike. Well, here, here's a pepper frisbee. All right, yes, there's a man who just got a pepper. Now, simmer and saute. While that's simmering and saute, you've also got the wonderful broccoli Florette, so we'll just put them in there. All this gets mixed and sauteed until it's firm 
tender, crunchy, but not soggy. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to work on our scallion pancakes. So, first, Jim, our winner, Jim, who suggested the poblano chili. So, wonderful. Medium hot green chili pepper. These are fresh out of my garden, frozen in my deep freeze in the basement, seven some odd cubic feet. We do the same thing and we get rid of it. Now, you're going to take two, maybe three of these for that one and a quarter cup of flour and one quarter, actually one whole cup of water. So we got two good sized ones. We got the little rings off the top. Get rid of the stem and chuck them in the food processor and chop them up. All right, there we go. Now, take yourselves a half a dozen, one bunch of scallions. Line them little babies up, cut off their little heads, yes. You don't eat the roots, no siree. Cut off the nice middle colored section. Oh, what the hey? Cut it in half, right, Mike? Right, absolutely. All right, and in the food processor it goes. Now, one of the secrets to getting the dark green section, of course, you want to trim off the dry, dead stuff and throw it out. Yes, to get this to chop up is get those blades spinning and drop them in. Nice and chopped up, yes, down here, hiding somewhere down here, we have, out of the frame he goes, oh, wonderful, beautiful, we don't need this anymore, no, sir, Bob, we need a clean, dry cutting board, we've got a beautiful, wonderful, nicely kneaded, rested for a half hour dough, so what we're going to do is we're going to say, let's use that bowl anyway, we're going to lay that bowl down there, we're going to take all of the wonderful, Look at all that nice green chopped up stuff. Just dump that in there. Scrape every delicious little bit of this out of here. Oh baby, where do you taste this stuff now? What I'm gonna do is move my veggies aside. I got me a nice big black. Oh, where'd it go? A nice big black cast iron frying pan. I'm gonna start getting that nice and hot. We are gonna take ourselves one teaspoon. I'm not even gonna waste my time. I'm going to be like one of them other TV gourmets. That's a teaspoon. My hand is a teaspoon. All right. Teaspoon of salt. And we're going to knead this dough. We're going to get in there, and you're going to take a look, and we're going to push this stuff around. What you want to do is get all these nice green things in here all thoroughly mixed up. And let me tell you, kitties, them medium hot peppers are hot. So if you got any itsy bitsy little cuts on your hands, surprise, this stuff is hot. Now... It gets wet, and it's onions, and your eyes will tingle. So you'll sprinkle a little more flour in here, and you're going to knead, and you're going to massage, and you're going to sprinkle more flour. Now, we've increased the amount of green stuff beyond the traditional recipes. It makes it more flavorful, but it means you've got to add more flour. Look at my hands. So, boy, if you could feel how hot my fingers are right now, you'd be crying. Now, here we go. We need, we mix, we need, we mix. We're going to turn this into a nice dough. Yes, and on one of them other TV shows, they'd have 18 bowls of this stuff prepared by 15 people in the back room, all of them saying, Ugh, why are we cooking this stuff? This isn't what we cooked in France. No, this is not what we cook in France at all. But this isn't France. This is America now. It looks like a mess, and frankly, it is but it's gonna taste delicious, so. <sighs> Mike, would you wanna do this to your hands? I don't think so. Well, that's why I'm standing up here and you're back there enjoying the aroma. So now, we're gonna knead this around. We need more flour, so what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? It's alive, it's alive. Jeez, it is alive. So we're gonna set it aside and we got messy hands, so. You sit back, you relax. When we come back, we're going to get this stuff off my hands and we're going to finish cooking with fire. All right! All right, so you take your dough, you get your scallions and your poblanos in there, and you roll it out. Then you take and slice yourself off a section. 
take it and using flour in your fingers, don't use a rolling pin. You get a better texture if you just flatten it out like a pancake. Now, over here in the fry pan, check it out. We got one frying up. We get it nice and crispy on both sides and we'll just put that off there on drain it on paper. Use as much or as little oil as you like. And speaking of oil, we've got bean curd. Yes, we cut our bean curd into big fat french fries. And what we do is we take it and we put it over here and we kind of deep fry it. Yes, this is Thai fried bean curd. Now, it comes out beautiful. Golden brown, drain it well on paper before you serve it. Now, check this out. Here's our sauce. You can see very carefully that the oil is separating. Well, maybe you can't see at the bottom. The oil is beginning to separate out. You could have used it to saute your vegetables. Take one half cup of warm water, add it into that sauce, stir this up real well. Don't slop it all over the place like I do. And this is the wonderful, wonderful sauce. So now, let me show you how all this stuff goes together. You got your fabulous, crispy, wonderful fried bean curd. It goes from being white and bland looking to being rich and golden brown. It's absolutely tasty. You take your wonderful sauteed vegetables, you put some of the beautiful pieces of bean curd on top, and you take and you just lavish it with some of this hot Thai fry sauce. Now it's absolutely outrageous. And of course, you got your wonderful scallion pancakes or their poblano pancakes. So if you want these outrageous recipes, all you gotta do is check it out and I'll all right, these recipes are in Biker Billy's Freeway of Fire cookbook. If you want them, go to bikerbilly.com and sign up for the newsletter so you can order the book when it becomes available. So remember, Thai food uses lots of peanuts, lots of hot peppers. It's outrageous. You saute those vegetables until they're nice and crispy, not soggy. You get the bean curd real crispy, and the sauce is hot and delicious. Use that chunky peanut butter. It's outrageous. Fry up them scallion pancakes. Everybody's going to love them, and you cook it for them, and they'll love you too. So remember, three important things. Eat hot, ride safe, and guys, when we come back next week, what are we going to do? Cook with fire. Fire.